What is up y'all welcome back to another video and in this video we're doing another prospect video and this is Derek Brown. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so I'm not sure where I'm at right now on the screen. I'm not even sure if y'all can see me right now, okay? We're trying to start a little bit different, so we'll see how this goes, okay? Now, there may be some gameplay, obviously real footage, okay? I mean, obviously, of Derek Brown. Like, that's clearly Derek Brown um, playing real football, okay? So, sometimes it doesn't, the camera doesn't really focus on Derek Brown because, you know, sometimes it just focuses on other players, which is strange. Uh, but just keep that in mind, okay? I'm not sure why that happened. Maybe the cameraman was like, you know, I, I don't know. Okay, long night. Now, we're talking about Derrick Brown, okay? Now, Derrick Brown is an absolute problem, okay? This is the guy that I think is going to go top five in the draft. And I think if you want to take Derrick Brown, you don't trade back for him. You take him and you move on because he is that great of a player. Look, defensive tackle is a position that maybe doesn't seem like the biggest need, but very, very soon, it could be the biggest need. You have Snacks Harrison, who you gave that little extension to, but this could easily be Snacks Harrison's replacement. I mean, Snacks Harrison is not young, and as we saw this season, he didn't look young, you know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying, you know, it wasn't a bad year for everybody, right? He didn't have a lot of help. Everybody was struggling, injuries across the board, so he wasn't in a great place, but still... He's not young, and he's not getting any younger. He's going to continue to get older. But Derrick Brown, he'll get older, but he'll get better because, you know, he's young. I'm sorry. I'm really confusing this. Derrick Brown's a beast, and he could be the replacement for Snack Harrison. Let's just keep it like that. We also have Aishon Robinson. He could potentially be, an, like, instantly Aishon, Aishon Robinson's replacement. This dude's crazy talented, and I think he is completely NFL ready. There's some of those players, you know, that are going to come in, and they may take a little time to adjust. I mean, Chase Young could be that kind of guy. He's a young player. I don't think Derrick Brown will be that guy. Brown comes in the league, he's going to be ready to go, and he's going to be putting up production instantly, which the Lions need next season for the sake of Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn, right? And I think Derrick Brown will be a perfect fit, and I, I really do think that the Lions have their eye on Derrick Brown right now, okay? Kerryon Johnson has talked about this. He said, I thought he was soft when he came in. Now he's like, hey, man, I would love to have him on our team. I think I would love to have him on our team as well. I only heard good things about Derrick Brown. When I watched him, I saw good things. There's so many things to like about him, okay? So let's get it started. This is a six foot five, 318 pound defensive tackle. Like I said, defensive tackle may not seem like the biggest need, but it definitely may be. We know the defensive line wasn't great this season with injuries and just not a lot of production overall. You can always add a defensive lineman. It definitely helps, especially if Matt Patricia isn't going to blitz a lot. You need defensive linemen. Well, Derek Brown would be a perfect fit because not only is he a good run stopper or run stuffer like Snack Saracen, but no, he is also a great guy that can get pressure, okay? Now, the stats may not back that up, but you'll see why in a second. So actually, let's start off with the stats, okay? So 2016, he was a freshman. He's been through all of his years. He's a senior right now, and that's one of the bigger reasons that he is NFL ready in my eyes. He's played every single year in college. He's not coming out early. He's played every year. He's been through for four years, okay? He's ready to go. He's played enough football. He's old enough. He's experienced. He's ready to go. In 2016, not even going to look at those stats. He was a freshman. He didn't play that much. 2017, though, he broke out. 56 tackles, two and a half sacks, two forced fumbles. Now, keep in mind when you hear these sack numbers, like, oh, that's not like seven or anything. No, because he's a defensive tackle. Sometimes you don't put up these huge numbers of defensive tackles because you're a defensive tackle. Like, come on, man. You know how hard it is to get pressure up there? I mean, you basically are going against two offensive linemen a lot of the times. You're not going to get a lot of pressure from there. Or, I mean, sacks. But you can get pressure, and that's what's huge. It's all about collapsing the pocket, and that's what Derrick Brown brings. Those things don't show up on stats. It doesn't show up on a stat that you got pressure. Well, actually, sometimes it does. But, like, the normal stats, like sacks, you won't see that. But he's a great player. Let me just keep that in mind. So now let's look at those 2018 stats. In 2018, he had 45 tackles, four and a half sacks. So that's even better. Four and a half sacks is pretty dang good for my defensive tackle. I'm just saying, and you're in the SEC, you're at Auburn, you're playing good teams most of the time. I think the SEC plays a lot of really good teams in conference, okay? Then they play some out-of-conference teams that are like the Citadel that I'm like, come on, boy. But otherwise, I mean, every every college does that. But they do play some, you know, really good teams. And four and a half sacks is really, really good for my defensive tackle, two pass deflections. 2019, his final year this season, 50 tackles, four sacks two forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, and four pass deflections. Crazy stat line. Look, this is a heck of a player, and the stats don't tell this story, okay? Looking at some pros and cons that I came up with. First of all, crazy powerful upper body, okay? He, he is. I mean, you can look at this dude and say, dang, yeah, that guy's probably a pretty strong upper body. He just looks like a beast. He looks like a freak that could go out there and just dominate. And that's exactly what he did in college. And that's what he will do in the NFL, in my opinion. He is a great player at collapsing the pocket. And that's what's super important, okay? I started this for a reason. We can get the edge rushers, right? You can get your Trey Flowers. You can get all of these canards. I mean, no matter who you want, you can get all these edge rushers. Those are awesome. And they can even get to the edge. But if you don't have the guy that collapsed the pocket when the quarterback steps up or tries to find the lane... It doesn't matter. 
But if you have a guy like Derek Brown, who is in the inside, going along with your defensive ends, like Okwara, Flowers, Canards, who do you ask? Austin Brown. When you have all of these players on the edge coming off, and in the middle you have a guy like Derek Brown. I mean, heck, even Stax Harrison will be there next season. Ashawn, when you have that, a guy that can push the pocket back, where is the quarterback supposed to go? I mean, obviously we're hoping we'd have that more last season, but this is a guy that's young, he's fresh, he did it in college, he would be insanely great to this defensive line. No, he's not a crazy edge rusher. But I think he would serve an impact to other edge rushers and move sacks up for other edge rushers because he would collapse the pocket and pretty much take other take away any other lane that they would have. As long as they can keep him in the pocket, when that pocket collapses, there's nowhere to go. And that's what Derrick Brown gives to you. That doesn't show up on a stat sheet, but that is exactly what helps your defensive line be a great defensive line. You need to have the interior. Starts from the inside out, that is Derek Brown. He's a great run stuffer, okay? I mean, I'm telling you, this dude can do it all. I'm serious. Great run stuffer. He can fill the gaps. We know that the defensive tackle position is usually known to have a good, really, really good run stuffer. But to have a guy that can also get pressure is huge. But he is a great run stuffer, okay? Maybe not Snacks Harrison level, but he's really, really good at it, okay? And the motor is what I love. This dude is four quarters, all out, doesn't matter, five offensive linemen versus him, he's going at it all game long, okay, and that is huge, because as the game continues, and everybody's like, oh, God, man, I'm tired, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm tired, the offensive linemen, they're tired, they're big, they're tired, Derek Brown's still going at him, and that is what, oh, Derek Brown, I'm telling you guys, I'm saying this right now, and I'm saying it over and over, because I think this guy will be an absolute game changer, Okay, I talked about AJ Epinesta. Like, you know, he'd be nice. He's powerful. You know, he's nice. He'd be one of those guys that could open the rotation. Derrick Brown would be a game changer day one, in my opinion. I think this is one of those players that you go get next season. He's going to serve one of the biggest impacts out of any rookie you could possibly draft. Okay, he has the upper club. Like, he just whops him because he's super strong. When I say this dude is ridiculous, I mean he's ridiculous. This dude has the crazy motor. I watched the play. The running back comes at him. The ba dude basically picked him up by his short by his chest. Now, Bopped him. My like body slammed the dude. I'm telling you guys, I'm relax. Derek Brown is a monster, and I would love to get this guy in Detroit. He reminds me, maybe he's not the Sue, maybe he's not Sue, but he reminds me a little bit like Sue. Like, Sue wasn't a great run stopper. You got a lot of pressure, so they have a little bit of differences, but the motor reminds me it's very similar. He's not a dirty player, but he has that same, you know, energy that Sue had when he came in. Sue was a beast when we brought this man in, okay? I'm pretty sure he won NFL Rookie of the Year. A defensive rookie of the year. This dude is crazy. That is exactly what Derrick Brown looks like to me. Now, there are some cons. Sometimes he does stop his feet, and sometimes he loses leverage. And, and that happens, right? When you lose leverage, and obviously, you know, you're not going to get through. You know, lowest man wins. We all, know, we all know how it goes. And stretch runs. This stretch runs. I mean, I saw it a lot. Stretch runs he struggles, struggles against. That's something that he would have to work on. But he can work on it. He's a young player. He will work on it. Now, it's important that he can stop stretch runs, obviously. But for the meantime, as he continues to grow, you do have a veteran. That's why this is the perfect time to get one. You have Snacks Harrison for another year. You, you probably will. You'll probably have him back. So you are telling me you're going to have a veteran as Snacks Harrison to teach this dude that is one of the best. Even if he's not playing that way, he knows. He knows the thinking of it. To mentor a guy like Derrick Brown. To go along with Ashawn Robinson, who is still a very talented defensive tackle. To go along with a great defensive line, okay? That will help also get pressure and take some pressure off of him and make them focus. Because you're not going to focus on Derrick Brown once we draft him. They're going to focus on Trey Flowers. They're going to focus on the guys that made name for themselves. That will open up Derrick Brown. They'll focus on Snacks more than Brown because it's Snacks Harrison. You know Snacks Harrison. You don't know Derrick Brown, but you will. Let me say that. This dude is crazy. I would love to have him in Detroit. I just got to say that simply. Let's draft him. I think he's going to be a top five type of player. I think if we trade back, we'll miss out on him. So if, you, if Chase Young is there and, you know, you can't get Chase Young and that, that was your number one option, but Derrick Brown is there, take him. I would have no problem taking him. Now, if you want to trade back, okay, do you. But I'm serious. If you don't want to trade back and you want to sit and you want to take that high pick and you want a superstar, a game changer like a Chase Young that some people believe he can be, I think that is Derrick Brown. May not have the flashy numbers, but overall, our defense will completely switch i think it'll be so much better on the defensive line that's just my opinion let me know your thoughts Derek brown please be detroit lion thank you Brad, for watching and i'm out